Hello everyone, Dhanusha here from English Form. We'll be discussing about the item called Describe Emerging Speaking today. Hope all of you are practicing really well and preparing for your exam. And if at all you need one-to-one -one guidance, feel free to reach me on 0432-269-874. Okay, so let's go ahead. But before we move to describe image, let me give you a quick look on the scoring distribution chart because I, I got some comments from some of the of viewers that they're not aware of the scoring criteria. They don't know which question is more important, which question is less important. So I'll show you the table of the scoring distribution from highest importance to the lowest importance. So let me just share my screen with you first. Yeah, there you go. So in this table, what we can see is, uh, these are all the 20 types of questions in PTE, irrespective of the module. So there are five items in speaking, two items in writing, five items in reading and eight items in listening. So we have a total of 20 different question types. And in this table, all those 20 items are arranged according to total marks from highest to lowest. As you can see, repeat sentence is the highest scoring item carrying 51.8 marks out of 90. Select missing word carries 1.3 points out of 90. So it is decreasing, which means repeat sentence is the most important question. Select missing word is the least important question. So for those of you who, do, who don't have this table with you, please feel free to pause the video and take a screenshot and have it with you. And I'll be, give, I'll be making another video with a detailed explanation of how to use this table. For today, we'll be just looking at the describe image task. So we can see here, describe image is the one, two, three, four, five, six. Sixth important question in the whole exam. Sixth important question in PTE. It carries a total of 22.2 points. You get six to seven questions and all the 22.2 points are given only to your speaking module. It does not contribute any points to any other module. All the 20 points are given to speaking because in this particular task, you don't have to read the paragraph on the screen. So no points for reading. You don't have to listen to an audio. So no points for listening. You don't have to type the answer. So no points for writing. So all the points are given only to your speaking module. So total 22.2 points out of 90 for your speaking alone. All right, so now let's go into detail of describe image. So describe image is a task where you will have images on the screen. It could be different types of images like a graph, pie chart, process cycle, or just a picture. It could be any type of image. You just have to look at the picture and talk about it. So this will come under your speaking module, which is the first module in the exam. In speaking, this would be the third item. First would be read aloud, then repeat sentence, then describe image, retell lecture and answer short question. So this is the third item in speaking and also the sixth most important question in your speaking module. Not in speaking module, in Hall of PT. Sixth most important question in Hall of PT. So describe image does not contribute points to any other modules. It doesn't give points to writing, reading or listening. It has a total of 22.2 points out of 90, which is all given to speaking alone. It doesn't contribute to any other module. And this is the scoring breakdown of this item. Again, this is not your marks out of 90. This is the scoring criteria. So your describe image will be evaluated out of 15 points. Again, not the marks out of 90. This 15 points is evaluated based on oral fluency, pronunciation, and content. You will be given five points for oral fluency, five points for pronunciation, and five points for content. And you need to remember here, vocabulary or grammar is not tested in your describe image task. And this is the most important reason why many people struggle here because they are unaware of this. And what they try to do is they try to describe the image using correct grammar, correct sentence structure, using really good vocabulary. But these factors doesn't make any difference in your score in describe image as it is not evaluated based on vocabulary or grammar. It is only evaluated based on oral fluency, pronunciation, and content. Now we need to know what does the computer mean by fluency, pronunciation, and content. We have already discussed about this in your repeat sentence. So if you need to get a more detailed idea, just have a look at the repeat sentence video too. But I'll just quickly explain here again, oral fluency. Oral fluency means the computer should be able to hear you continuously in a smooth manner. That means even if your explanation doesn't make any sense, even if your grammar is wrong, 
even if you're using very simple vocabulary as long as you speak continuously without any hesitations without pausing unnecessarily you will be getting all the five points for your fluency which is the reason why when you get an image even if you don't understand it you don't have to try to analyze it you don't have to try to understand it even just use the words from the question and speak continuously without any hesitations don't say uh, um or any other hesitations don't pause unnecessarily just keep on speaking continuously now pronunciation pronunciation is the part where the computer should be able to understand what you're saying now like i have already explained in repeat sentence if you speak in a really low voice or if you mumble the computer will not understand you because it's a machine you're not talking to a person it cannot see your face or facial gestures or your hand gestures it won't see you so it is only listening to your voice so only if your voice is clear and loud the computer would be able to understand you and as i had already mentioned in the exam do, during your speaking module everyone along with you in the exam center will be speaking at the same time so it is going to be a really noisy situation there so what happens is if you speak in a really low voice and if the people near you are shouting their voices also will get recorded on your computer as a background noise and your voice will not be clear which is the reason why do not speak in a really low voice do not mumble open your mouth speak loud and clear that is pronunciation content content is the part where the computer would be checking if you are giving the correct answer or not but we already know this is a machine a machine is not capable of understanding the meaning of what you say for example if you take a sample image here this is a sample describe image question you will have images like this on the screen all you have to do is talk about this image for maximum 40 seconds now you can explain this in different ways they are talking about population of australian states and territories so we can see that the highest values in nsw which is around 682 uh and which is per 10000 and the lowest is in northern territory which is 21 per 10000 but this is an english exam you need to remember this is just an english exam this is not a knowledge test so the computer is not concerned whether you are able to understand the image or you are able to analyze the image your analysis is not going to help you here that means even if you do not say the highest or lowest it is perfectly fine for the computer even if you say highest and lowest that is not going to give you any extra benefits here because the computer is not concerned about it, about your analysis because this is not an exam to check with your analytical skills on an image this is just an english exam and especially in the speaking module the computer only needs to know that you are a fluent english speaker it doesn't care whether you understand it is or understand a bar graph or a pie chart because this is not a science exam or uh, analytical exam so the computer doesn't care about explanation of the image the only way the computer can check your content is by checking if you are already using the words which is given to you in the image itself because these are the words which the computer has in its memory so the content here would be the population of first lane states and territories in the year 2006 population per 10000 states nt act tas sa wa qld vic and nsw even if you don't say the full form of these words like northern territory australian capital territory tasmania southern australia western australia queensland victoria and new south wales you don't even have to use the full forms of these words because the full forms of these words are not on the image so by saying that you're not going to get any extra points but by saying that you're not going to lose points also you're just saying some extra words which doesn't affect your score here now why i'm telling you this is most people make a mistake here especially students who have already done ielts or any other english exam they tend to explain this properly and the problem with that is the moment you start trying to explain it too much if you try to understand where the highest is where the lowest is where the second highest is by the time you do that you will start losing your fluency because they don't give you enough time here to figure it out and by the time you start figuring it out you will start hesitating which is the reason why when you get a describe image all you have to do for content is use the words which is already given to you in the image you don't have to say highest you don't have to say lowest you don't have to use full forms use the words which is directly given on the image which is the reason why the computer is not checking your grammar or vocabulary so use a very simple basic template which we provide to students in our classes so you can reach me if you need the template 
so the template will make it really easy for you because for every task the computer will give you only 25 seconds preparation time and 40 seconds response time so in the exam if you try to improvise your template during the exam like during the 25 seconds you will not be able to like figure out a template within that short span of time which is the reason why it is better to memorize a template before you go to the test so you already know what you're going to say and it makes it really easy for you to maintain your fluency so the main points to remember in speaking even if you don't understand the question you don't have to worry just use the words which is given to you on the image speak clearly speak loudly for your pronunciation speak continuously without any hesitations you don't have to worry about grammar you don't have to worry about vocabulary because grammar and vocabulary is not evaluated in this task so even if your grammar goes wrong you don't have to try to correct it even if you're using very simple vocabulary not a problem you don't even have to explain the picture just use the words and speak whatever that comes to your mind but then again like i said don't try to improvise during the exam try to prepare your own template using simple sentences i can give you a sample answer for the previous question using the template that we give that we give students you don't have to say highest you don't have to say lowest you don't have to correct grammar you don't have to use complicated vocabulary keep it simple uh, and speak fluently speak continuously without any hesitations and use the words from the question so you're given 25 seconds preparation time so during the 25 seconds what you do is just have a quick look at the picture and pick out the words that you're supposed to read and the computer will give you 40 seconds to talk about this picture this does not mean you have to speak for the entire 40 seconds you you need to speak only for around 30 to 35 seconds because if you keep on speaking continuously till the last second of the recording status bar sometimes the timer will time out while you are speaking you will not have finished your sentence so you will have a broken sentence at the end part which is incomplete so better than that it is better to finish early within around 30 to 35 seconds and the computer will not show you the exact seconds it will show you just the progress part so when you reach 3/4 of the pro progress part you can just conclude your answer so try to have an introduction then a little bit of body part and then a conclusion so try to conclude within 30 to 35 seconds do not wait till you reach the last second because if you keep on speaking the timer while uh, may time out while you're speaking and you will have an incomplete sentence at the end and as i told in the other items of speaking if you finish early let's say they give you 40 seconds but you finish within 30 seconds you don't have to wait for the computer to finish the remaining 10 seconds do not keep waiting there because if you simply keep it waiting there without answering all the background noises going on around you will be getting recorded in your system as well which is the reason why when you finish answering do not wait click next and move to the next question immediately don't wait to finish the remaining time and as you can see these are the types of images that you would be getting in the exam you could be getting different types of graphs uh, like bar chart line chart it could be any type of a graph you could be getting pictures pictures means you would be getting i'll give you a sample so yeah this is a picture so you'll get a picture of a place or a picture of a person or a picture of a thing and there won't be any words on it which means you can say whatever you want here just include four five words match into the context of the picture here but then again you need to remember you don't have to give the correct explanation your explanation doesn't match to the computer because it it doesn't understand your explanation all right and yeah graphs pictures then diagrams process cycles maps pie charts pyramids table it could be any type of picture no matter whatever the question type is use the words from the question and speak continuously without any hesitations do not bother about your grammar sentence structuring vocabulary keep it simple but speak continuously loud and clear okay so i'll give you a sample answer for this question so it's kind of like a basic template included in it as well so if you want you can note it down and use the same template for every image that you're getting so i'll be starting this one i'll be saying there is a very interesting image in front of me let me have a closer look at it in the image i can see many words and numbers in the image i can see the population of australian states and territories 2006 in the image i can see population per 10000 in the image i can see states in the image i can see nt act and tasmania in the image i can see sawa and qld in the image i can see vic and nsw in the image i can see 21 and 33 per 10000 in the image i can see 49 and 155 
in the image i can see 508 and 682 in conclusion the image is very informative see this is all you have to do so if you listen to this answer randomly it might sound really silly to you because we are not saying anything sensible here but then again we need to understand computer also doesn't understand the meaning of what you're saying so even if you try to make it meaningful let's say you're trying to say the highest values recorded in new south wales which is around 682 per 10000 and the lowest is recorded in northern territory which is around 21 per 10000 it's not wrong to say this but the problem is the moment you start trying to analyze it you will start hesitating because we need a little bit of time to figure it out and by the time we figure it out we'll start hesitating so even if we give an excellent explanation here if you're hesitating too much the computer would not give you points for your fluency which is the reason why our priority is fluency and pronunciation of course content is a priority but content for the computer is the words which is already given to you in the question so as long as you include the words from the question and speak continuously in clear pronunciation you will be getting all the points at the same time even if you give a really good explanation but if you stop or hesitate in between you will still be getting very low score because you will be losing points for your fluency for every hesitation that you make okay so these are the main points to remember in your describe image don't worry about grammar. Do not worry about vocabulary. Do not worry about sentence structure. Do not worry about meaning. Do not worry about your explanation. Use the words from the question. Speak continuously. Speak loud and clear. I would 100% suggest using a template rather than trying to improvise your answer during the exam. It's not wrong, but the problem is some people do not work well under pressure. You won't be able to think straight because you're, do, you're doing a test. You're taking an exam and people are shouting behind you. So you won't be able to think straight if, during the exam which is why it is better to prepare your own template. If you don't have any, like anyone give you one, make your own template using simple sentences, short sentences, simple vocabulary, and use it to describe any image. And this is another question that I get. You get six to seven describe images in the exam. Can you use the same structure in all of them? Definitely you can. The computer is not comparing one answer with another answer. You can use the same template for every single question. It doesn't matter as long as fluency, pronunciation, and content is correct. Okay, so that's pretty much regarding describe image, guys. So, uh, what, like I said, if at all you need one-to-one -one guidance, or if you need templates or any other questions that you need to clear up, uh, feel free to reach me on or four three two two six nine and eight seven four or four three two two six nine eight seven four. Thank you.